G'day guys, welcome back. It's Bloom Day, Resin 3D Bloom. And I'm gonna try something a little bit different, something I told you about, I think in the last video when I did this curly whirly one. I thought, what if I do zigzags? So like this. So that's what I'm gonna to try today. So hopefully you saw that one with the black. And I also did this one with the green. I love that one. So today I'm going to do a purple background. I don't know that I've done a purple one for quite a while, have I? I'm not sure. Put these out of the way so we don't get resin all over them. So yeah, purple day today. Now, um, it's been 20 minutes since I stopped stirring. My resin is sitting at... 47 degrees Celsius so I'm going to pour it into the mold I'm using the platinum ultra clear and I've got hundred and thirty grams of part A and sixty grams of part B because part A is heavier so actually I'm not going to do that oh well I will but I'll pour it back in here it gets too hot when I pour it into that it's quite deep and, and it gets too hot so what I thought I would do is weigh out what I need, which is 45 grams, which is one and a half ounces, because it's, uh, it's a big coaster. Actually, I don't think I need all that, you know. Uh, it'll be all right. 45 grams, one and a half ounces, Seems like a lot of resin. And I'll put a little bit in here for my center. Don't need a lot. And the rest can go in here. So yeah, 18 centimeter coaster, this one. Well, it's not really a coaster. It's a bit big for a coaster. It's more like a platter. So I'm gonna put it in there because it's starting to warm up. And because this is nice and open mouthed and wide and shallow, um, it will not heat up too fast. Now, this, on the other hand, is deep, it's half full. So I'm gonna pour it back into there. And now it is also in a nice, shallow, wide mouthed, open container. And I'm basically going to I'll keep going, but I don't want to start piping until um, I get to 20, uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes is when I want to start piping. So that can just sit there for a minute. Um, I'll, I'll do my center. I'll put, well, I'll put the glitter in. I'm going to use this. It's just a tiny little jar, but it's got little tiny bits of glitter in. They're very fine. And then for the background, I thought I'd use this. And I was looking at my purples to see what I what matched. That's the Dorese, super chunky. And this matches really nicely, doesn't it? It's by Resin Art. And it's Luster Pigments. Purple Sapphire. So it's very similar in colour. So that's going to be my top coat. So I don't need that just yet. It can just sit there. But... Um, I'll do, I'll do this. How much have I got in there? I don't need very much. Pour that in there. It's going to take up half of my little jar, tiny little jar. So that's going to be my center, but I'm going to leave it in there to thicken up. Otherwise, if I pour it in now, it'll just spread everywhere because it's too thin. At the moment, like it just it just drips off it doesn't leave a little mound or anything when I'm ready to pipe it'll be thicker and it'll actually leave a little mound like when you go to the beach and you get wet sand and you drizzle it like that and you make a little castle like it'll leave a little mound so it's too thin now it'll just all spread too far so I've got my cast and craft and for the 45 grams that I've got in here, I'm going to do seven drops. So five drops per ounce. So it's kind of seven and a half, but seven drops of that and um, half of the amount. So three, three drops of the pinata white. So that's going to go into there later. 
all right so I'm just gonna put the video on pause I'm gonna come and torch for the bubbles and um, I will be back as they say I'll be back get my gloves off and wear them again all right so put you on pause and I will be back in oh, 15 minutes see you then Bottom. Five minutes to go before I need to start piping. So I'll um, get my white mixed up, pour it into the piping bag. Now let's have a little look at this. Uh, 20 minutes ago, when I pulled the stick through, it took five seconds to close up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's a lot thicker. I just wanted, no, like, you don't need to do that. I just wanted to see whether, you know, how much it actually thickens up. And you can see it's leaving a mound, a big mound. So let's put some in the middle. Probably don't need all of it. And then I like to just give it a bit of a, a swirl to get it into a little circle shape. It's more of a tornado by the looks of it. Get into a circle shape. All right, close enough. Close enough. Hopefully it's in the center. So yeah, I mean you could see how thick it was. Hopefully you could see how thick it was. Plop. Okay, um, now I'll pour this in here. You can see it's leaving a nice mound. I haven't done this before. Um, I've always poured my resin straight into the cup, but it got rid into the little um, four ounce cup. But um, it just got too hot, that's why I thought I'll do it this way and see if it's better. There's my little wipe, it's my wipe. Okay, so what did I say? Seven drops of cast and craft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's usually, most people tend to do five drops per ounce or five drops per 30 grams, but because I've got one and a half ounces, it's a little bit more. One, two, three. Now these two over here on the side, I didn't put any alcohol ink in those, but I'm going to today. Where will I put them? Let's put them over here. Righto, let's stir this around. It's feeling pretty thick. I always worry whenever I do this, like it's not easy, you guys. I stress about it. I probably overthink it way too much. It's feeling really thick. It's probably how I would, oh, what's that? Clump. It's probably how I would, um, if I was doing an acrylic pour, flip cup pour, <laughs> it would be this thickness. Felt like there was something in there, like a clump of something. All right, so that's going, it's not feeling hot, but it is nice and thick. Oh, it's just a bubble. See, I'm stressing about nothing. Okay, in you go. So yeah, just wait until your resin's thick. Like, there's no point really me telling you at time because every resin is different. Just go by the consistency. Wait till it starts thickening up and it leaves, starts warming up, uh, starts thickening up, leaves a little mound instead of dropping straight through. Um, and then you, you know, you're pretty right to go. There's a lot of resin here. <laughs> Probably don't need that much. All right, now the snipping. Um, that's about, that's way too small. I like about four, four mil, four millimeters ish. I don't know. So when you hold it like that, it sort of drips down slowly. It doesn't just pour out, okay? 
and you know it's pretty much ready. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Um, I keep saying I should use my turntable, and I don't do it. I should do it. I should do it. Make it easier. Wouldn't it? I've got contact on that. See so if I can turn it around. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Are we ready? And it is, yep, 40, 45 minutes. All right, let's see if I can do this. See, so I don't want to overlap. So I needed bigger ones at the top actually, and then they get smaller as we come in. So the first one's not that accurate. Twist it up. I'm concentrating. You know I'm concentrating when I don't talk. So I figured because it's wider, obviously, at the, the outside, I need to make these outside ones bigger and then it gets smaller as it goes in. Now, I should have room for two more. And by doing this, I'm not overlapping. Like when you, know, you go over and over, you overlap. Like even when you're doing petals, you tend to overlap, don't you? Okay. Done skis. That was easy. We'll build up for nothing. Look at this. I've got all this left. What a waste. See, I only needed 30. Woohoo! I like my turntable. I must remember to use that again next time. All right. Well, I wonder what it's going to do. Let's give it some heat. A little bit of heat. Blow it around. And then outside in outside in oh loving this turntable why haven't i done this before you guys look at this i don't have to worry about stretching over i'm popping bubbles as i go hopefully i haven't left it too long hopefully it's still going to bloom do its thing and bloom So once it starts to bloom, then I'm just going to leave it. Hopefully that's enough. I don't want to do too, too much heat. I just have to keep an eye on it. See, if it starts, you know, puffing up and looking as if it's going to bloom, then stop. It's doing more of it in the middle, not, not as much on the outside. Ow, I've got a big bruise on my hand. There was this massive cockroach, and stupid me just instinctively went, bang like that on the concrete, on the concrete pillar to kill the cockroach and now I've got a big bruise. Right. It looks as if it's doing it, you guys. It does. I'm going to bring you down. Ow, 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 my bruise. I didn't have anything near me to grab. I've put cockroach baits out, so they're coming out like half dead. <laughs> Uh, acreage, there's all kinds of critters, spiders, cockroaches, who knows what's in the roof. It's just what you get when you're on acreage. All right, there we go, focus. So it looks as if it's, it's doing it, you guys, it's doing it. Look, it's starting to bloom. Look, and because I haven't overlapped, you know when you do, um, you know when you do petals and you go up and then back up again on the same line and back up again, where you've gone over twice, um, 
I'm starting to bruise. <laughs> got a big lump there on my knuckle. Um, yeah, where you go over twice, that's when um, the resin or well, the white gets quite thick and heavy and then you tend to get blobs. But because I did it this way, I did the ziggy zaggies, like I didn't overlap anywhere, did I? So I'm hoping that it's going to work. And look, we're getting like a scalloped edge. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Hope that works. And the middle looks pretty too. It's got all these little little bits around that center. There's my green one. There's my curly whirly one. All right. Um, shall I come back in half an hour? Yeah, I'll come back in half an hour. We'll see what it's doing. All right. Um, and then the grand. Oh, and no, not the grand unrolling. In a, in a few hours, once it's set enough, I'll um, I'll put the purple on. Okay, we'll do that. All right. See you in half an hour. I'm back. It's probably been about oh, just over half an hour. I have to go and make a couple of molds to post out. So let's have a look. Ooh. It's all closed up. On the upside, we're going to have quite a lot of area between those two zigzags like between the zigzags there um, for our background aren't we we've got some scalloped edges there a little bit of a space there they've closed up nicely I don't know what's going on there <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there the rest of it looks really pretty we'll just hide that bit in the middle looks nice Alrighty, um, I'll cover it back over, just fits, and um, I'll wait another few hours, what's the time now, it's nearly 6pm, I'm going to go and feed the dogs, um, I'll come back in a few hours and uh, put the top coat on, alright, see you then. Right home, it's only been an hour and a half, and um, it's already touched dry, so Yay! So let's put a little bit of this in. I haven't really used, I think I used a little bit of this when I was doing my um, my key rings or something. I'm not sure what it was, but I've used it once and it was really pretty. Uh, I'll just tip some in. Try not to tip too much in. All right, let's have a look at that first. It's got a bit of a strange texture. Like it doesn't seem to be um, like other mica powders. Ooh, look at the colour. I'll leave it like that. I'll put the glitter in and then see what it's going to do. It's a real pinky kind of purpley colour. It's like a colour shift almost. isn't it? All right, let's put some glitter in. I may have to put some more purple in because the colour that's there looks much darker than what's in there. I wonder if it just needs more of this or whether it needs like more, a different colour purple. Put a bit of that in. I don't like using too much glitter because that's all I've got. All right. unless you put a heap of glitter in you don't really notice it but like I said I don't want to I've only got a little bit I don't want to use it all in one pour okay that's much more of a pinky purple although the center that I used was quite a pinky purple too let's put a little bit more in and see if I can get it a little bit darker whoops a lot. Oh, let's see what happens. Maybe it'll go darker. Yeah, it's just going pinker. That's okay. I quite like that colour. Although you see, you can't see the, the glitter. I don't know why we put glitter in because you can't really see it. It just gets covered over by the mica or the paint or whatever it is you're using to color 
the resin for the background and you don't really see the glitter. I'm not going to put any more in. I'm just going to do this. Pour it in. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of the glitter like because it tends to sink. So when we turn this over, hopefully we'll be able to see the glitter. And you can see how it's, you know, it's shimmering and shining, but it's certainly not as prominent as it is just sitting in the jar because it's all covered in resin now. Coloured resin. Let's go to the sides. So that was, um, what did I do? What did I do? 45 grams of A and 20 grams of B with the resin. Um, 65 grams, so two ounces just as a, a top coat there. Hmm, I'm loving this turntable. Give it another little torch. Okay, well. I tell a lie, like I can see the glitter, like it's picking up all these different colours around it. Not really looking purple, but I can see blue and red and orange. You can see the rainbow, you know, it's the light is refracting, so you can see the rainbow colours. Okay, I'm going to cover it up again. Good night, little resin flower. Hope you sleep well. And um, we'll see you in the morning for the grand unmolding. See you then. Morning, morning. And again, I haven't had my coffee. I've just come straight into the studio, too excited. Now, this tile has got contact stuck on it because this mold, um, after I used it a couple of times, it kind of went all warped on the bottom. So I've stuck it down, but now I can't actually get it off. So I'm going to see if I can get the um coaster to come out while it's still in there i don't know my chances because i can't bend it but i don't know let's see if i can get it out come out come out it's normally you know you can bend your your coaster to get it out let's see if i can jimmy it Come out. No, can't do it. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try and pull the coaster off the contact. <laughs> this is a real struggle today. I'm gonna have to get something in there to put underneath it. Oh, hang on, I've got my fingers in. I got it. Got it, I got it. Oh, got it. Phew. But if you've ever got a, a a coaster that's you know warped on the bottom put it onto a piece of contact paper on a tile and then you get a nice flat bottom again oh that was that was hard work all right so oh look at all those colors look how sparkly it is let me put you on autofocus come on there we go all right oh. now can you guys think of anything else I can do? Like I've done, I've done the curly whirlies. I did the, you know, the petals. The this one is the zigzags. Um, I did one, um, like um, Sherry Moulton did with the the swirls like that inside. I think it was Sherry Moulton. Um, but yeah, can you think of any other designs that I can? can do oh there we go out shall we have a little peek at the the sides have a little look got some 3d stuff happening in there see I didn't do my purple very very thick I didn't want a very thick coat no point wasting resin when you don't need it Prefer to have the other cut, the other one, a bit thicker, so that the um, the white paste has room to like spread out and give that three D look. All right, 
are we ready and we've got half sun coming in half not oh, it's going to be so hot today 38 degrees radio let's do this are you ready please work please work please work one two three. Oh wow oh my gosh I'm gonna put my thumb over there with that little bit that didn't work <laughs> wow look at that I guess my center looks a little bit too big it might it must have spread a little bit wow do you guys like that I don't know that you can tell that it was a it's mirrored now zigzag love this around here look at that that's from where the little zags were the big zigs and the little zags down here wow what do you think there's it in the sunshine because i've got sun streaming in through my window this morning and then um in the shadow it's more like that darker love it I'm keen to do more though oh this one here you can really see the the zigging and the zagging but because it's not been overlapped I haven't got the blobs with this like with this one do you remember when I did that one and um, went around and then when I went back around in that same spot just there that's where I got a blob because I've gone around the same section twice I just wish I didn't have that let's just we'll just do that and pretend it's not there hey <laughs> all right love it let me know what you think which one you prefer what's your favorite design and um yeah help me decide on some more designs that I can do but I really like how that you can see the purple background through that one because some of them you you can't really see like this one you can see Oops, you can see the edge, but you can't see any green through the center, which is still nice. They're just different. So there we go. All right, I have to go and have my coffee now. So I'll see you guys real soon for the next video. Hope you're enjoying these. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.